Hi, my name is Matt Olson, and I graduated from McGeorge with a Master's in Public Administration in December of 2018. Hi, my name is Jenny Rodriguez, and I graduated in 2019 with my Master's in Public Administration. Hello, my name is Lacey Solis. I graduated from the MPA program at McGeorge School of Law in 2021. Hello, my name is Trey Hunter. I am a 2019 graduate of the McGeorge MPA program. I serve currently as the Assistant Deputy Director of Capital Finance and Sustainability for the Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, otherwise known as CAL FIRE. Um, so the current work that I do, I actually work for SMUD, which is our local utility here in Sacramento, and I've been there for about 15 years. And so when I picked an opportunity to um, go into grad school, I wanted to really focus on something that's going to help me not only on a personal level, but also be able to bring it back to the workplace. I currently work for WSP USA as a senior consultant, and I work with uh, transit and infrastructure agencies on funding and financing for capital projects. So the reason I picked McGeorge is not only is it part of the University of the Pacific, which is a well-known college here in our area, um, a couple other programs I had looked into would have required my driving out of the area, possibly bi-weekly or on a weekly basis. And with a family of four and having, you know, work that I'm working at full time, it was just, it made more sense to stay local. So I decided to pick McGeorge. It's only about a 10 minute drive away from my current workplace. So it just pretty much worked out all around. McGeorge has a respected name and position in the policy spheres uh, here in Sacramento. And a number of McGeorge graduates, whether as eventual law graduates, LLM graduates, and now as public policy and public administration graduates are in decision-making and decision-influencing positions here in Sacramento. What made McGeorge's MPA program stand out versus the other programs in the region were the respected law school, the location in the Sacramento region, and the faculty who are well connected in the area. The main reason McGeorge School of Law uh, stood out of uh, along any other program I was looking at in the area, any other MPA program I was looking at in the area, um, is that it was offered at a law school. Um, another reason is the campus. When I came in toward the campus, um, it is so beautiful and it, the, it is so warm and inviting that I really saw myself here as a student. I saw myself studying um, on the patio of the McGeorge House. Um, I saw myself hurrying off to class. So the campus really lends itself to the student experience. Um, I believe the Oak Park neighborhood as well, just being in this historic neighborhood, uh, really lends itself as well. Um, the way that I feel that my MPA has helped uh, my career is not only in a career advancement situation, but also in really opening up my network to different members that I've met throughout our community. That's another reason why I decided to stay local because these are members that are working alongside of me on all sorts of different, um, in, in different type of career fields. And so being able to have that network has also allowed me to learn what others out there are doing. And I've actually ended up working with them on different projects throughout my career. I wanted to get an MPA at McGeorge specifically because of the concentration on law and public policy and administration. Also, the university's location in the capital region of California was an attractive option for me. McGeorge was my top choice uh, for a public policy or public administration degree because the program is really focused on your professional skills. We're doing projects and we're working on assignments that are going to prepare us for the workplace.